well, you know, before we really, really dig, dig deep into the show, we do got to send out condolences because yes. there were quite a few important deaths this week that we have to acknowledge. The first one being, of course, uh, O.J. Simpson, Poor the yes. juice. O.J. Simpson passed away this week, died from, uh, I believe it was prostate cancer. Cancer complications, yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, 76, right? At 76 years old, O.J. passed away. Um, and it's it's unfortunate because I, I really feel like O.J. was in the process of rebuilding his reputation uh, as he started progressing um, on cam, camera on a Mesa show. Uh, I forgot the name of the podcast, but he, he was on Cameron and Mace's podcast. Of course, he was a legendary player with the uh, Buffalo Bills. Right. One of the greatest running backs. Phenomenal. Well, not phenomenal, but good actor. Uh, you know, uh, of course, everybody remembers him most from the – the trial of the century, which we were in school for. We actually yep, were in school. school. You must have quit. They said not guilty. We had people running all running the all in the hallway <laughs> screaming. And it I, was mandatory to be watched that. I went to a mostly white high school, and all the black kids, we all <laughs> screamed and high fived each other in front of all of the white kids. It was salty, boy. Oh, he got away with that. Yeah. If oh, you my God. You quit. You just support him because he's black. That's no, what I love. Didn't fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for the record, I definitely to this day don't believe OJ killed those uh, people. Did OJ Simpson get away with murder? No, I looked at all the evidence they had and talked to the experts. They never should have brought the charge against him. And four of the chief detectives that were involved in that OJ case wound up doing time in California for planning evidence. And as a matter of fact. If you saw the entire trial, there are several instances where evidence was planted and it's recorded on tape. Don't either. The number one thing I have to remember is during the 90s, we got our media from TV and newspapers, which controlled the flow of information. We didn't have YouTube and all these independent sources now that can fact check and verify. Right. So we just took what the media chose to give us and they gave us all the information that convicts OJ, but none of the information that, uh, you know, declared his innocence. Because that's what they do. That's what they wanted us to think. But the number one thing that lets me know OJ didn't do it was the simple fact that both victims had Colombian neckties. Nicole and Rod Goldman got their throat slit from ear to ear. Their tongues pulled out of the slit with a pair of pliers. The fatal injury was a stab by a left-handed person. O.J. was right-handed. And uh, just to be real, I don't think O.J. was capable of doing all that with anybody. First of all, I doubt O.J. would walk in. I didn't know what the hell that was. Yeah. Um, and then there was eyewitness testimony that was purposely uh, taken away from the trial where uh, a woman said she saw four people flee from Nicole Brown Simpson's uh, crib on the night of the murders, and her testimony was withheld from the trial. So uh, there was quite a bit of information that was withdrawn from the trial. Uh, personally, I think, it, and I've always stood by this, I thought it was a mob hit. Um, I think Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman. Had some ties. No, they, they were on drugs heavy. And because she was OJ's wife or ex wife, they knew OJ was giving her money, so she had credit. And eventually that credit couldn't be repaid because OJ stopped giving her money and people wanted their money. And when she couldn't pay, I just think they put a hit out on her. And uh, that's what happened because. The, the the timeline just doesn't make sense. Apparently, the murders happened an hour before OJ was supposed to get a flight. So what they're trying to say was OJ yeah, went. No way he could have murdered them. And yeah, the and made it, made it to the airport. Exactly. Hour. So there was a lot of stuff that just doesn't make sense. Common sense. Um, why would you murder somebody an hour before you know you you want to get on a plane? None of that makes sense. Yeah, when the, when the time won't be timing. And the fact that the uh, police planted a lot of evidence as well. So there's that's a lot the of there's a lot of stuff that says OJ didn't do it that people purposely withheld, you know, from their opinions. And to this day, I still feel that uh, he was innocent. He did not commit those murders, but 
regardless, you know, once white people say you're guilty, you're guilty, and there's pretty much nothing you can do in order to uh, get that stigma off you. But OJ did the best he could with what he did. They even got his ass locked up a sec uh that second time when that he was crazy went to steal his shit back he got his own shit back yeah took from him exactly and then so. they lock him up for that that's crazy that was crazy yeah so you know they had a target on that nigga's back they so. couldn't get him for the murder so they had to yeah. get him for something but i mean that's kind of oj's fault too he should have knew he was under a microscope and not did no stupid shit like that even if it is his shit, you got to wonder, was that the best course of action to OJ take? was out there thugging for yeah. no reason whatsoever. He was out there he trying to. No, no, you still got bread. You can just go and. Yeah, there, 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 there are ways you could have handled that. that. No, but that's my point, that. though. But that's my <laughs> OJ was out there thugging, and he ain't even had to. He ain't had to. Yeah, yeah so, you I know. I want to buy another one. I want that one. Yeah, so. <laughs> I want to get my shit. OJ was an idiot for how he handled that shit. He should have known it was kind of an entrapment type of thing. But, you know, regardless, he did get out of jail. He was able to, you know, celebrate the last few years of his life free. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I, I really don't give a fuck if OJ killed those people or not, which I don't believe he did. You know, it wouldn't change my opinion of him. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he was kind of a sellout turn, you know, superhero amongst black people as really the trial was really for you were rooting against the LAPD. That's really what it was. Uh, but to this day, I still don't think he killed people. So we just going to keep it moving and give a big RIP to OJ Simpson.